Fighters with the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces attack ISIL targets in the Syrian village of Barghouz, the last remaining ISIL-controlled territory close to the border with Iraq. In 2015, ISIL controlled around 90,000 square kilometers of territory across Syria and Iraq. After more than two years of fighting involving a US-led multinational coalition, the territorial battle against ISIL is all but won. So what happens to the approximately 6,000 US troops still in Iraq? US President Donald Trump, seen here visiting American soldiers at the Al-Assad Air Base in December, says he wants some troops to remain in Iraq to, as he puts it, keep an eye on neighboring Iran. The comment has angered many of Iraq's Shia politicians. Faisal Khazali is leader of the powerful pro-Iran armed group, Asaib al-Haq. Trump's recent statement had nothing to do with the welfare of Iraq. The targeting of Iran from here is totally unacceptable. Iran is Iraq's biggest and most powerful ally in the region. Pro-Iran armed groups have been highly effective in the fight against ISIL. There is a clash among Iraqi politicians, many of whom don't want Iraq to be potentially a launching pad for U.S. policies against neighboring countries, primarily Iran. Kurdish Peshmerga forces have been stationed at this position since 2014, but commanders here tell us that ISIL sleeper cells still operate in the surrounding countryside and villages close by. So it's probably not surprising that those commanders along with Kurdish and Sunni Arab politicians, say they don't want American forces to leave Iraq because they doubt their ability to be able to deal with the ISIL threat alone. It is important to keep the coordination and cooperation between the Kurdish forces and the US-led coalition in this region. It is vital to keep bilateral, long-term political and security relations in order to preserve the security. Many in Iraq say the departure of U.S. troops from the country in 2011 was one of the reasons why ISIL spread so fast. Anger and scorn was poured on Iraq's army, which fled Mosul without a fight, abandoning millions of dollars of American-supplied weapons to ISIL in 2014. But the Shia-led coalition in Iraq's parliament is determined that U.S. troops must soon leave Iraq. It's renewed threats to put forward a bill that, if voted into law, would force all U.S. forces out. And this shows that President Trump's Iran policy has potentially huge political and security ramifications for its neighbor that has already suffered decades of war. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Mahmoud, Northern Iraq.